All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another Houston Rockets video for you guys. Last night, Armani Brooks made his Houston Rockets debut. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know I've been talking about this dude. I've been talking about this dude since he was on the G League team. When he got called up, I absolutely lost it because it's not even... Oh my God, we got a loud noise. It's not even that this dude is going to be, you know, a 35 minute a night sharpshooter right out of the gate. But my biggest issue with kind of just the season in general, to be honest with you guys, is like when Anthony Lamb got called up or when Justin Patton got called up, like these dudes aren't getting minutes. Right. It, and it has it's for a whole number of reasons. I mean, first off, we just have way too many guards. Like there are just way too many guards on this basketball team. There's like three big men. It's unbelievable. But Armani Brooks, he's extremely young. He's a rookie. He's Houston born and bred. He was born in Texas. He went to University of Houston. He balled out in the G League in like 15 or 17 games. I have a whole video about Armani if you want to go check that out. But Last night, he made his NBA debut for the Houston Rockets, and in just 14 minutes, he single-handedly brought the Rockets back into the basketball game in the end of the game against the second-best team in the West. In just 14 minutes, he scored 14 points, threw in a rebound, he shot 5 of 6 from the field, but more importantly, he shot 4 of 5 from deep. Now, I felt like our issue, the Houston Rockets issue this whole season has been three-point shooting. And it's not even that there aren't three-point shooters on the team. Like, I know Ben McElmore was our best three-point shooter. But personally, I don't really want Ben McElmore to be our one and only good three-point shooter. Like, that's pretty absurd to me. I'm glad he's on the Lakers now because it just opens up more minutes, opens up more roster spots for guys like Armadi. And last night, he really just kind of definitely gave himself some minutes but as i was talking about in the earlier video like i had huge hopes for guys like anthony lamb i thought anthony lamb was gonna be a beast and the issue is with silas and just kind of the rocket season in general is it, it'll be like they'll get blown out you'll throw in anthony lamb for four minutes they'll have a little bit of a run and then you'll take him out or you're in garbage time, you'll give Anthony Lamb like 10 minutes into the game and he just doesn't do well and you won't see him again. So that kind of happened with Justin Patton once we got Kelly Olynyk. kind of happened with Mason Jones. A lot of these dudes just didn't get minutes. And guys like Mason Jones, Justin Patton, I feel like should be on this roster or at least like one of those dudes should be on the roster. But I'm not complaining because we got Armani, we got KJ, we got Kevin, we got Jay Sean Tate, we got Christian Wood. The amount of young talent the Houston Rockets have is actually unbelievable. Like nobody in the entire league kind of recognizes this and Kevin last night another good game he played 40 minutes only had four turnovers I know that sounds like because it's a fucking lot but that's been his biggest issue has been turning the ball over since he got to the NBA or for since he got to the Houston Rockets but last night Kevin Porter Jr. 22 points five rebounds 14 assists extremely efficient seven of 15 from the field three of eight from deep christian wood last night 25 points 15 rebounds threw in some three threw in some threes threw in some steals it still just makes me it i have no idea why john wall has not been shut down yet but avery bradley even is getting minutes all these dudes are getting minutes so i hope armani can continue to either just get more minutes or continue to do well in the minutes he's given and when you think about this Rockets team I mean they're 14 and 40 they're literally like the second worst team in the NBA you are fighting for the worst record because you want the better odds and you look at the next couple of games you got Indiana you got Denver and then it gets a little bit easy but for the most part, the Rockets, the rest of the month is really hard. So I think this is a good time to, it's because John Wall is not going to get shut down in, in the month of April, which is crazy to me, but it's a good time to just kind of sit back and watch these young guys develop against good teams. Because like I said, in the rest of the month, we got Indiana, Denver, Miami, Utah, Los Angeles, Denver, Milwaukee. It's it's going to be a tough little ride here, but but this is exactly what you want because 
you got guys like John Wall still playing 35 minutes a night for whatever reason. So Armani, great game, absolutely beautiful debut. I got high hopes for this kid. I don't think he's going to be a breakout star anytime soon, but lethal knockdown three-point shooter. I think you could definitely see this. This guy was a 40% three-point shooter in the G League. For a rookie in your first game to shoot four or five from deep in important in like a late important game, it's it's extremely impressive. So Armani, it was just an incredible debut, incredible debut. I had such high hopes for this dude. I, I really tried to get him on the on the YouTube channel. I really tried to get him on for an interview because I knew I knew this kid. So hit that like button, hit that sub button if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about Armani's debut because judging off Twitter, judging off just everything, it seems like all of Houston, <laughs> they're just absolutely hyped.